Hi, I'm Daniel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the in and out functions in DaVinci Resolve. So we go straight in and inside here, I have this little, little clip that I'm going to add to my vlog playlist. And I'm just want to render this part of the clip. I don't want to render the whole timeline that I have here. So the only thing that I do is I have this in and out line here. Now I can easily clear that with pressing Alt X and it will be cleared away. And if you would like to render this, you can simply activate the snapping function, which is this one. You can press that or press an N and you can pull the playhead. So it snaps to the beginning of the audio clip that I have here that I would like to be included. Then I press I and I go to the other side of it and I snap to the end of this clip and I press O. Now I have marked the ins and out of the clip that I would like to render. So I've been working in the edit tab now. We head over to the delivery tab, which is over here. And I'm gonna go up here to the left and you'll name this clip, which I'm gonna name intro, vlog playlist. You choose your resolution and so forth and then you press the add to render queue and you will find it up here. If I press render now, you will render this clip and only this clip. You can also, if you would like to render another clip on this timeline, simply just, let's say if I would like to render this little clip here. So we go to the delivery tab again and I can simply just mark this clip up here in the library thing up here and you can right click and press render this clip. This is a very, very handy tool if you would like to render several clips. Let's say if you have stock footage or something like that, you can simply just right click, render this clip and put a name on it, footballs, add to render queue and you have a different render this right click render this clip and you have a boxing guy boxing add to render queue and now if you would like to render these whole three you just press the first one you can hold in shift and press the last one and it will mark everything or you can press first one control second and the third one if you would like to render this everything you just press render all and it will render the three clips. And that is how you work with the in and out markers in different ways in the edit tab and in the delivery tab. If you like this video, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this one.